Hello, welcome back to Blend Sushi Lamp Hunting. In this episode, I want to share how I made uh, this kind of a barnacle cocoon kind of thing. So it's like, it's a little bit like mushroom or it's kind of like an upside down pot. Uh, something only, like some kind of creatures that only the mother can love. But anyhow, it's a, it is actually pretty simple. You might already guessed it. It's basically just like a kind of like a vase or a pot. Um, I made the whole thing using geometry nodes and yeah, let's take a look. It's basically just a revolve. This part over here is actually just uh, some kind of decorations. You start with a vase shape and then you turn it into something that's more interesting. In fact, uh, you can actually use the, the edge pass to get really like really beautiful looking pot but for now let's take a look okay where should we start uh, we should we start this seems to be complicated first of all there is a parameter to control the shape of the the vase okay so that's definitely um, that's the noise the noise texture over here so I can control the strength of the noise and there's this multiplier okay so that's the noise without uh, the noise oh by the way the noise is only uh, controlling the middle part because I turn off the the endpoints I select the part that's not the endpoint so the top and the bottom part is always the same radius basically so we should start with the curve to mesh okay this guy is doing the revolve since we don't have revolve node yet I actually use the curve circle okay so that's curve circle and I can control the rotations let's make it 12 for now and we have profile that we can we can control from here this is a profile curve the secret is actually start with a with a curve line okay curve line over here and we resemble it and then we need to rotate it 90 degree without the rotations it will not be a revolve so we need to revolve we need to rotate it And we resemble the curve. Uh, we resemble the line, and we actually control the height as well. We can control the height of the line, and then we control the amount of noise. Yeah, there is this top part and the bottom part. That's a uh, that's kind of like an extra things that I added. So basically from the circle, I fill the, uh, the circle and then just transform it up, up there. there. There's the bottom and the top part. We cannot actually, we cannot use the fill caps because it's not like a revolve. We are just use this, we are using this curve to mess just to hack the rotations. Uh, I'm trying to check the the Z part. Okay, there is this bottom part as well. If we want the top and the bottom to be to be close like this, we can enable it. Okay, anyway, keep it simple for now. It's just basically like a like a revolve vase. And you see, see that's the bottom part. Just zero that out. I want to demonstrate this top and bottom part because because over here I'm using mesh to volume. 
and volume to mesh. By doing that, you can get this volume, kind of like an enclosed volume, if we use fill volume, okay? So that's kind of important. And to turn it into some kind of barnacles, weird looking things, I simply use extrude mesh. Okay, extrude mesh with control over the scaling and some randomized randomizations on the extrude. So this can go out. So we have this result. Yeah, I, yeah, this one is like a, it's more like a cocoon. It's covering the whole thing. I mean, <clears throat> if I want, if you want to make like a proper cocoon, <clears throat> should be like egg shape. And I want some kind of more interesting topology. So instead of just uh, extruding, you might uh, be able to use the edge uh, edge path and get a more interesting topology. But you can do that yourself. It's pretty fun to do. <clears throat> so, random seed extrusions and these noise variations. Let's erase this. So yeah, that's basically the this barnacle cocoon how we can create it. I think the a lot of things over here it looks so messy, but the one that's doing the job is really curved to mesh. So I just it's something that we can colorize. You know, it's really important. We need some kind of revolve nodes at some point instead of using circle and this hacky way. To do a revolve but still it's pretty interesting okay that's too strong okay cool if i'm not wrong we have a, a bit more control here with the which part we actually want to push with the noise You see how I, when I change the number over here, the top part is more straight. And then there's also this height value that I should actually just pipe it out. Oops. There you go. It's the top part file save as okay so anyway that's uh basically the setup um yeah the barnacle thing is just uh decorations you can definitely use the edge path and get a more interesting outer part uh i'm not gonna do that but yeah just let you do that yourself so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye